Okay, so I was we're getting requests for me to do Pisces um reading. And these readings were supposed to be for saint signs, certain signs. So I said I would do that for Pisces since you guys show me the most love. Um so the next request um, the next request was Aquarius. If I don't get an, a request, I'm not doing it because I work damn near 13 days a week. I have a job and this is not my full-time job. I do this for fun. All right. So Virgo. Oh, why did I say Virgo? It wasn't Virgo. Ooh, I, okay. I'm going to do Virgo because something wanted me to do Virgo just now. Spirit say Virgo. I could have sworn it was Aquarius, but it could have been Virgo. Okay, let me do Virgo, because that's it was Virgo. I guess some of you, most of you guys are dealing with Virgos. That just popped up in my head. Some of you guys put that. Some of you guys just sent me a mental message just now. I know what you did. All right, Virgo, Spirit, thank you so much. All right, I just want to know what is this Virgo's overall energy of them? What's the best case scenario in the near future? Um, as you can see, I'm not putting timing on this reading. Uh, I see wants to know what is the Virgo's overall energy? What is the Virgo's overall energy of Pisces? What is this Virgo's overall energy of Pisces? The chariot. This person is really not making a decision. Um, they're not making a decision with you, okay? They're not. They're stalling. They're delaying something here. Um, and it's crazy because I'm seeing that this person is so... <laughs> Look at this This person. I do feel like they want some type of commitment here. And I feel like they, they, they if they haven't communicated or opened up about it, some of them have, some of them didn't. I feel like they stall. <laughs> like, why are you stalling? Someone's stalling. A Virgo here is stalling, not making a decision. They're not budging, okay? In the current moment, this could a child could be involved in this situation. Um, maybe someone not choosing to move towards a kid. Um, but I feel like in the current moment, this person does want some type of happiness. They want happiness here. But they're not choosing their happiness. They're not choosing to move towards the happiness with you. And they seem fucking confused. What's challenging them, they're confused. They got options. This person got options. This Virgo has options. This person has options uh, in uh, temptations, illusions, um, you know, clouding their emotions. But I'm sorry, if there is a kid involved in this situation, nobody should be confused about that. No one should be confused about letting anything get in the way of their goddamn kid. So if that if that is you, Virgo, cross watcher, whatever, then you need to get it together and act on this and move towards this and step up and be a father or whatever it is that you got to do. But if this is not in regards to a kid and this is regarding to the happiness that you want to have with Pisces, you need to get you need to get in control over your ship, get in control over this. This, this, whatever, this vehicle, this car, this, this, whatever, this ship, whatever you want to call it. And you need to go ahead and choose happiness. But I feel like what's challenging you is temptations, other options, other choices. Ten of Wands is here. So, yeah. I feel like somebody wants to really release their burden. So, somebody here just doesn't, okay, somebody doesn't want to be the one to have to make the decision or have to choose. I'm hearing that it's just too much. Too hard, too much. Don't want to make a decision. Don't want to be um don't want to be in a place where I have to make this decision between this and between that. What? I feel like somebody really want to release their burdens though to these choices and these options. But I do want to say, I hope nobody's trying to release their burdens in regards to a kid. Because that's 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 not okay. You can't just act like that never happened. Because I'm getting this, you know, like, I feel like there's a whole kid here. There's a whole fucking, there's a whole human being, a whole child here. And 
that shouldn't be considered a burden here okay so let me see in the past death card so this person there was an ending here with you and this person there was a big transformation that occurred and somebody wasn't ready for it or didn't want to move with it <laughs> i feel like the best case scenario with this virgo pisces is the king of cups in reverse so somebody here is really like closing their emotions off and not offering their emotions here to a kid or they're closing their emotions off and not being emotionally available for a kid or they're just not being emotionally available whatsoever they're, they're just not emotionally available and there could be a Scorpio in this energy cancer cancer cancerian energy I'm seeing a Scorpio, a Cancer, and a Leo. Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer, and a Leo. Okay. In the near future, we have the star in reverse. I don't know why I just heard the word salty. Someone feeling very salty here? I'm not sure. Let's see. Um, you'll know, especially if a Scorpio is here. I don't know why I feel like there's a Scorpio being salty about this situation. Especially if this person, Pisces, has a Scorpio in their energy. I'm just going to leave that alone. So, um, I always get that word for Scorpios. I don't know if they're in a, a negative light. But anyways, the star being in reverse, there could literally be a Scorpio cross-watching or watching in on this. Knowing that Pisces is dealing with the Virgo. That's none of my business. In the near future, the star is in reverse here. I'm seeing that... This person, it's a salty energy. It's salty. That's the word. Someone soaking, soaky. Is that the word? Soaking, salty, soaking. You know that's a word that we don't. I ain't gonna say it. Someone's acting real soaky. Let's let's see what that word means. Uh, oh, bad-tempered, resentful, refusing to be cooperative or cheerful. Mm, that's what that means. Soaking. Someone is soaking. That's the type of energy I'm getting. And they're holding on. It's like resentment, emotional resentment. They're holding on to like all this emotions and feelings about what they felt in the past whatever let that go someone's being too overly emotional or too overly over the top too much it's just too much it's not even that deep it's not that serious but they feel like it is and i feel like they're feeling like they're not getting their wishes but like some i'm getting that somebody said that they didn't want this or they didn't want it to happen like this they, they never even really wanted something to happen like this so therefore, they don't feel like they should be responsible in making a decision or a choice or something like this. Again, the best case scenario is this person is going to be closing their emotions off to you. Not showing you the love or the emotions. They're going to be very like soaky, okay, or salty. And I'm seeing that somebody here is not showing emotions or love to a kid, okay? They could be offering their love to someone else. Uh, maybe a Scorpio, Cancer, or Leo, or Phil Scorpio, but I'm seeing Aquarius in this energy too. Somebody here is wanting to hold on. Instead of detaching themselves from this energy or this feeling of feeling like, like they're soaky and they're being salty, instead of detaching from that and releasing that, that emotional feeling, um, they're holding on to that, causing them to be even more confused about making a decision in regards to you Pisces or in regards to a kid. So the way that you're coming towards this person, Ace of Cups in reverse. You're really emotionally, you have a lot of repress, repressed emotions. You do. You have a lot of repressed emotions that you are feeling and you just want to let it out. You could even be letting it out. Maybe you guys could be holding it in and that's really unhealthy. That's so unhealthy. 
I'm seeing a release. There's a lot of raw emotions that are spilling out. I have never seen. This is a lot of hurt and pain. This is a lot of emotion. See, they feel like they might be the only one in their feelings, but you guys are hurting too. There's a lot of repressed emotions. There's a lot of emotional exhaustion. There's so much that you're holding in Pisces to the point where I'm seeing a, I'm seeing a, I've seen a balloon and then you put water in it and it's just filling up and filling up into it pops. And then it's just like all hell is all spilling all over because that's how you feel. You need to release some type of these emotions are all bottled up and you are needing to release this. You have so much emotions that I have built up over time or over a period of whatever in regards to this person. This is a lot. And I'm seeing emotions are leaking into every area of your life. And it's just like flooding. Hmm. It's flooding every area of your life. It's affecting you. Even in love, especially in love, especially when it comes to having faith in love, it is affecting you. Whatever the situation is with this Virgo, it has affected you tremendously emotionally. There is a pressure that is mounting up. And you're about to explode if you haven't already. Uh, in regards to this person, you're not having a new opportunity in love. You're not having the best luck in love. And it has a lot to do with the emotions that you are are filling up or that you have to release in regards to this person. And I'm saying release it in a healthy way because you don't want to release this in an unhealthy way because it's not going to bring you what you want. The way this person is coming towards you is the Ten of Pentacles. This person looks like they're living their best fucking life. They know they need to make a decision in regards to you, but they have not quite made that decision. They have not chosen a new direction. They're not choosing to move towards you in a different direction. And they know that they have a responsibility or they know... They have a responsibility towards you. They know that they need to open up, but they're stalling is what I'm saying. See, they're stalling. They have a responsibility to you or something here in regards to you. Like you deserve something, but I feel like the way they're coming towards you, Ten of Pentacles, I don't know if this person have their own situation going on, their own stability, their own long-term success or stability here. Um, this person looks like they have everything it is that they want when it comes to finances they look stable they look financially equipped you know what i'm saying to handle a situation here if that's the case like i'm seeing a very stable um i'm seeing some type of this person energy looks like they could be in a long-term commitment for some of you guys or they could be in some type of long-term relationship with someone else um Or if that's not the case, then they're established in some way. Um, they have some type of legacy, some type of wealth, some type of, you know what I'm saying, support system here. They have something in place for them that seems like is very accomplished. You know, they have reached some type of some type of some some point of success in this journey. I don't know if they hit the lotto or if they just have a good strong family support system or some goddamn what you call that thing when you got um that old money or um <laughs> you know what I'm saying inheritance you know like something like that like this person has something to contribute towards the situation Mm-hmm. I'm seeing wealth around this person's circle or around this person's energy or something stable, something that's built. Maybe if it's not money, which it feels like it could just be cut, um, cut like uh, some type of uh, support with community or family or stability or legacy or some type of tradition here that's going on in this person's energy. You guys, I'll be scratching my hair and doing these readings. Anyways, I need to wash my hair. This is ridiculous. So, but it feels like they're burdened by that. They're burdened by, they're either burdened by the fact that you know about it or they're burdened by it and want to release their burdens in regards to it. It's like they want to try to find another way around this situation. I'll start influencing how this person feels about you, temperance. So, yeah, I feel like this person does want to have some type of peaceful resolution with you. They do. 
they're ready to release these burdens and they're ready to try to find some type of peace in the situation. They are. What's in this person hopes and fears when it comes to you is the Ace of Swords. Ace of Swords right here by this Ten of Pentacles and this Ten of Wands feels like something legal. Um, they could, in their hopes and fears has a lot to do with possibly um, lawsuits, uh, class actions. <laughs> I'm just saying what I feel because why would this Ace of Swords be right here cutting the hell out of this Ten of Pentacles? Like somebody doesn't want that to happen. Like, uh-uh, I don't want my money to be cut in half or my money to be messed with or I don't want my finances to be uh, in some type of disarray or, you know what I'm saying? Um, I feel like in their hopes and fears has a lot to do with you. It has to do with actions, taking some type of action. But for me, it feels like legal actions or what you may be considering or what you may be thinking about or what type of idea that you might be, you know, moving towards. I feel like in their hopes and fears, it has a lot to do with them feeling conflicted at what you're you're about to do next or the thoughts or what you're considering right what type of action is this person going to take what are they going to say what are they going to do next they don't have the clarity in regards to how you're moving or or if you're going to do something that you said you're going to do or something like that like um because it has a lot to do with cutting somebody off or cutting into somebody's um, money, finances, wealth, or stability. Like, is this person going to tell somebody or is this person going to go seek, get answers? How much do this person know is what I'm hearing? What, like, getting outside opinion? How much does this person know that I do have? I feel like in their hopes and fears has a lot to do with the clarity that you may or may not have in regards to what they have. A mind is a terrible thing to waste. So they're just like, they're like, hmm, what does this person actually know about what I got going on? And in their hopes and fears is the amount of clarity that you fucking have in regards to what the fuck they got going on. And they got some shit going on, period. Whether it's with the spouse, they got money. They got something here. And baby girl or baby boy, somebody, wipe your eyes because you're going to get what's owed to you. Because they have it to give. It's here. They can choose to do it the right way or choose a new direction, especially if this is about a kid. I don't know why that keeps popping up with vices. So the outcome here is the five of pentacles. Okay, so right. <laughs> this person is fooled. So I feel like in the current moment, they're trying to come out of fucking, they're kind of, they're trying to come out of the cold with you. They're trying to come out of the cold with you. I feel like right now you might not know what this person, or maybe you do. This person is trying to come out of the cold with you. This Virgo is trying to really come out of the cold with you. Um, because again, they're emotionally dissatisfied about a situation too. They feel like they're not getting, um, I don't know. It, it, it just feels like um, they're not, I'm just going to be honest, they're not uh, pleased. They're not pleased with the situation. They're not totally pleased with the situation here, so they want to come out of the cold with you. And they could be feeling this emotionally. I'm feeling like they, I feel like this person is feeling something emotionally too here. They do. They feel, I feel like they feel your emotions too. They feel your emotions or they feel your pain in some way. And I do feel like right now this person is trying to come up out of the cold with you. I'm also feeling like I just heard that this person is trying to come up out of the cold with you too. Because, because of what they do have. Because of what they do have. And this ace of swords is they don't want you to have the clarity that you need in regards to what the fuck they got. So they might as well just come out of the cold with you. That's like somebody about to divorce and somebody's like, you know what? Instead of you hiring lawyers and doing all this, let me just give her half. 
because I don't want this person to know exactly how much I got somewhere else. Investigations, like I'm just giving an example. Even if it's about a kid, like you know what? Let me just come out of the cold. Let me get this person what they, you know, because that Ace of Swords is no clarity, no new beginning. Somebody doesn't want you to have that clarity about something here in regards to them. So they're coming out of the cold with you. What's crossing the death card and the chariot? So somebody wasn't walking away from some type of emotional dissatisfaction in the past. And it could have been in regards to them not getting what they wanted. And the King of Cups with the sun. What's crossing this? Yeah, Five of Swords. You see, winner. this is like a win or lose. This is like win at all costs. You know, um, somebody wasn't walking away from something that they was emotionally dissatisfied in. They could have like been going back and forth, arguing, trying to hurt you, trying to say things. Maybe even legally trying to do stuff here is what I'm seeing. Yeah, just saw that three of pentacles in reverse. You know, not really working together with you, really being difficult to get along with, you know, maybe even disclaiming your kid or disclaiming something in regards to your kids or not owning up to something here. Somebody just did not want to own up to it. Um, somebody, I'm seeing this person belittle you, making you look like, you know, trying to hurt you, trying to get back at you, trying to hurt you at all costs. Um Thinking that they were hurting you, but in the long run, you know, who are they really hurting? The star is in reverse with the seven of cups. What's crossing the star in reverse with the seven of cups? Justice, right. Okay, so that's that's exactly what's happening here. Somebody wants to hold on to their money, their finances, to something here. They don't want to let that shit go. They're not willing to let that budge. They're not willing to let that go. Um, there could be something legally in this situation. Um... Okay, yeah, so this person is very dissatisfied about their options and their choices when it comes to a legal situation, um, possibly with you in regards to you. This could have to do with division of assets um, here. Or what someone owes to somebody. Somebody wanted justice here. The way you're coming towards this person, just a hot mess emotionally, feeling it, like all these repressed emotions for this person. Yeah, you're about to fucking explode, my gosh, Pisces, my gosh. You are about to explode. Like, you are trying your best to, like, stay focused, keep your mouth closed. You're trying the best, your best to, like, be like, let me not respond. But this shit got me all up in my head. It got me stressed out, you know, got me all in my fucking head. I'm trying to do what I, I'm trying to be the on my best behavior. I'm trying to be the nicest person that I can be to this motherfucker, <laughs> is what I'm saying, but... You are feeling like you are about to, you about to show your ass out in the courtroom or you about to show out. You are about to explode. And that's what I'm saying. And that's the thing that's crossing you is the tower. And, and this has a lot to do with your emotions. A breakdown. I'm seeing a break. You're breaking down emotionally or you're having a breakdown emotionally. Or maybe you broke down in front of the, some people or, or maybe you, you're just breaking down by yourself, but... Maybe you broke down in front of someone and it made you look a certain way. I don't know, but you're definitely breaking down. Um, you're going through your tower moment. The way that this person is coming towards you, Ten of Pentacles, they probably got all this legal help, all these resources. The Empress is in reverse, so there could be a three-party situation. There could be even a, they could be juggling. Um, there could be, a, there could be a wife in this situation, or there could be a. Um, Another party, three people. This person is definitely not trying to have growth in abundance with you. They're definitely trying to control the situation. Or someone here is trying to control the situation. Okay? In regards to, um, like, wealth, money, finances, someone is trying to control this. They're not trying to have abundance. They're not trying to have success. They're not trying to grow in the situation. Mm -mm. They're trying to control the situation. Um, and that's literally pushing you to the edge. Ten of Wands, the Temperance was crossing it. The High Priestess, which is your energy. So I, this person, the outside influence in them, they don't want to have an equal give and take with you. Again, this feels really like finances and stuff. If not, you'll know. They're really trying to delay something. They're, not, they're trying to delay giving you something, owing you something, or having that equal give and take with you. Um, but eventually I feel like they do know deep down inside or intuitively that there's going to have, there's something here 
is going to come to it's something here it eventually they feel like there's going to have to be somebody's going to have to um what's the word <sighs> someone's going to have to put out or lay their burdens down in regards to this because uh because if i think eventually i feel like they know that this is taking away from them it's taking energy time effort or money so eventually, I feel like outside influencing this person, they just want to have some type of peaceful resolution with you, lay their burdens down with you, maybe even give you what you want. <laughs> you see, five of pentacles in reverse. This person is trying to come out of the cold with you with the ace of swords here in reverse. So, yeah, king of wands. I'm telling you, strength, four of wands, damn, nine of wands, all these wands, six of pentacles. This person, woo. This person, I ain't knew Virgos that like this. I thought Virgos were so sweet and kind and just easy. King of Wands. So again, this is somebody who's like they. It's like they they want to. This is a king who's gonna do what they want to do. They come and go as they please. They're not trying to appease anyone. They don't really care about who they stump on to get what they want. They're gonna do what they want to do, how they want to do it, in the way that they want to do it. Right. <laughs> Strength here. Um, this person is really trying to, oh, I feel like this person wants to snap on you or they want to kind of like lose control, but they're not because of people who they may be around the community, something like that, whoever the hell this person is. And I feel like this is weird. This feels like, this feels like my baby daddy, but I ain't, I'm not. This is weird. <laughs> and the Knight of Wands, this person, I'm telling you, I don't know why I feel like right now they're trying to do everything they can to delay giving you something here that's equal and balance. They're doing everything they can to um, avoid it or delay it from, from like, the, they're just like trying to delay a transaction from happening. The reason why they're trying to delay this transaction because it's more, they don't want to give you, like I'm gonna give an example, they don't want to give you the $600, they'd rather give you the $500, something like that. I'm just giving an example, it could be way more money than this, but yeah, they're not still having an equal give and take with you, they're frustrated with you. And they're just, like, to be honest, they're just being plain difficult. They're being plain difficult when they already know what's deserving of to you. What advice would I give to my Pisces in regards to this Virgo? What advice would I give to my Pisces in regards to this Virgo? New love, calling in your soulmate, over our energy is children. Your love life is being affected by children. Okay, so yeah. I feel like this person literally tried to... Oh, wow. So... The new love could be a new child. A new child, right? It could be a new child. So I do feel like this person does have... This might be for people who have children with someone or share children with someone, one or two kids. Um... I feel like this person is letting somebody influence them in regards to their kids or in regard to their kid that they have with you. They're letting somebody influence them. That's what I'm seeing. They could have met someone or knew someone. They could have been married to someone. I don't give a fuck who this person is, but it feels like they're letting somebody influence them in regards to their child or their children that they have with you. Because it's somebody who they came together with. And they're letting this, whoever this woman or this man is, they're letting somebody influence them. Yeah, justice in reverse. Could be a Libra following you. So I'm going to tell about this. Yeah, Knight of Swords. Who is this person? Um, 
this control. Like someone's putting, someone is really like influencing this person, um, telling this person, influencing this person in some way. I feel like it could be somebody who they have in their life that is new or that was new at this time. But this person, I feel like this person lets relationship and, and people and women and things like that or men influence their uh, decisions and impact them, uh, them, you know, making these decisions and stuff when it comes to their kids. They let people get in, get in the way or get, or they let new things, any new thing. What if it's a new job, a new career, um, anything like that? They let that get in between their relationship with their kids. They let that call out to them. It's like their children can be calling out to them, but this person could be calling out to them and they're going to go run and see what this person wants first is why I'm seeing that type of energy. Like, do they even call their, to check on their kids? You know what I'm saying? It could be the new person doing that. It could be a, the, the, a mediator or somebody that they're dealing with. This could be a type of person where you feel like the other person is being more involved in their kid's life than they are or trying. I don't know. It could be something like that, too. What advice would we give to uh, Pisces? What advice would we give to Pisces in regards to this Virgo? What advice would we give to Pisces on how Pisces should be moving? Pisces spirit said, love yourself first. No, what just happened here? Unrequited love, give your relationship a chance, chemistry. I feel like I needed to shuffle that back over because it fell out of my hands, but I'll take it. Um, yeah, this is exactly what you're feeling. The way you're coming towards this person is unrequited love. You could be feeling a sense of unrequited love that this person has made you felt. I don't even know if this person has someone new in their life and they're putting that before their children, but you could be feeling a sense of unrequited love um, and wanting to, and you could have wanted to work on this this partnership with this person or wanted this person to at least act like they cared. Um, you could have even felt like this person was your twin flame. But what I'm seeing is that even if that's the case or not, I'm seeing that um, see. I don't know why I'm getting a strong feeling you should be working on yourself, but I'm going to clarify this. Yes, Ace of Cups. <laughs> Ace of Cups. Okay. Yeah. Give your relationship a chance. Can I get a card for this spirit? I don't want to tell Pisces the wrong thing. Okay, seven of pentacles. They Okay, they want me to tell you to stop investing in this situation with this person. They want me to tell you to start loving yourself. Fill yourself back up with emotion. Fill your cup back up. Fill your fucking cup back up, Pisces. Fill your fucking cup back up, okay? You, you've, you've given way too much. You've given way too much. Fill yourself back up. Your self-respect, your self-worth. Give that back to yourself. You don't have that much in this damn cup as it is. It's all out. So, yeah, it's time to walk away. Walk away from this. Walk away from this at this current moment. Um, I feel like this is definitely unrequited love, and I feel like you've given a lot of your emotions or your feelings or your time to this. They want you to stop investing in this situation. Stop putting energy into this. Ace of Cups is you, your emotional abundance. Start focusing on your emotional well-being now, okay? That's what you're going to have to do. Because in reality, when you start doing that, that's how you attract this person back to you anyway. They don't want you to be putting too much energy into something that's unrequited. They want you to put this energy back into yourself. Choose yourself. Choose yourself. Choose to fill your cup back up. 